step number five. How to be born again? Now, this is the one that uh, very, very interesting. Sealing with a hypostatic chip. Now, hypostatic chip is a son of God. Hypostatic chip is a spirit being. These are children of God that have been with God in an eternity past. Right now in heaven, they are not occupied, they are not doing anything. And they cannot, they are not looking forward to succeeding God the Father because He is eternal, the King f forever. I mean, you can't dethrone Him, He doesn't go on holiday, He doesn't go on vacation. So that prompted the need for creating a physical domain for these children of God who have been with the Father in eternity past. That, that is, there are other names for him, you know, for, for, for that. And when God said, let us make, let us make man in our image, that's exactly what he's talking about. Because an image is something that represents so a bigger uh, substance. An image is a replica. An image is um, a chip out of the mass, something that is massive. You just take a little bit out of it. In him you also trusted. After you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also, having believed, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. This is technically the first baptism that an unbeliever received. When in the process of being translated from death to life. Sealing there, the sealing there is the work of the Holy Spirit. It's done purely supernaturally. You were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. The word promise there is, yes, you are sealed, but then it depends on you if you will continue to retain the status that have been given to you. Now, let's quickly consider how the first converts, remember Adam sinned, everybody became a sinner, everybody lost the glory of God, you know, of all sinned, and, and he said, there is no one righteous, no, not one. And, you know, the first set of people to be translated from death to life were the apostles of Jesus Christ. Um, in John chapter 3, verse 3, the Bible says, you must be born again to see the kingdom. Just seeing the kingdom. Now, when you now contrast that with the events that happen, you will see the process through which the apostles passed through before they actually became born again. Because when Jesus was here with them, they were not born again. They operated with the delegated power of the master. 